You can use conditional formatting in Excel to highlight certain cells. If you're using conditional formatting with a pivot table, be careful what range you're using when you apply the conditional formatting. So here we have a simple pivot table with dates in the row field, territory names across the top in the column fields, and a sales amount in the values area. We're going to apply conditional formatting to the data for the east and west region for each date. So I've selected those cells and on the home tab of the ribbon I'll click conditional formatting and I want to show anything that's above average as highlighted so I'm going to the top bottom rules and above average and there are different options that we can use for formatting for the built-in options I'll go with a green fill and dark green text when I click OK anything above average is highlighted here so it works well but now I'm going to add a bit more data to the product sales sheet here we have a new entry that we're going to put in for January 1st and that will be 600 in product A in the East region I'll do the same with 550 product B in the West when I go back to my pivot table sheet I'll right click on one of these cells and refresh and it refreshes all the data but we can see the new row there's no highlighting even though 600 is higher than one of the amounts 504 and there's a 494 these two amounts are higher than those but they're not included in the conditional formatting range to change that I'm going to go into the conditional formatting rules so on the home tab conditional formatting I'll click that arrow and manage rules so here I can see this green highlighting and it's showing B5 to C16 as the range and our new data is in row 17 so I'll select that rule and click edit rule and in the edit formatting rule I can see that it applies to that range B5 to C16 because we're in a pivot table we have some options we can either go with just the selected cells and then if we add new cells we might have to come in and reset this range if the pivot table gets bigger there are a couple of other options that are more flexible one is all cells showing some of sales values so if we look at the pivot table that would expand to include these but it would also include any grand totals or subtotals where there's a sum of sales so all of your grand total amounts would affect the average so you wouldn't get the highlighting that you intended the other one is all cells showing sum of sales values for date and territory and that's what I'm going to select when I click OK and click OK again and OK again it now includes those if I go back and add one more row so 2 1 14 700 C East so I'll go back to the sales report right click and refresh and there's February and its amount has highlighted automatically we don't have to change the range it will expand automatically if there are new values for the dates and territories for more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.